G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines on literally the other side of the world. We've flown all the way to the mysterious Mercury's Lake X in Orlando, Florida. Well, it isn't much of a mystery anymore because you can Google it and it shows you exactly where it is. But this is a facility that Mercury have had for decades and decades. There's a lot of history here. Uh, the big round windows I've seen in uh, books and videos all through the years. But today, there are 26 boats on the water all rigged with Mercury's new 350 and 400 horsepower, 5.7 litre, naturally aspirated V10 outboard motors. Now, this platform fills a gap in Mercury's line. They had the V12s, they've got the V6s and V8s, and of course the V10s are filling the gap in between the two. They're gonna replace the L6 Ferratos in that 350, 400 horsepower range um, and we get to play with them on boats today of course there are 26 boats on the water we're not going to get to ride in them all I'm going to concentrate on some of the smaller single engine fishing boats and the guys that make and run the boats are going to give us their ideas on how they love this new platform so my name is Brian Gross I am the VP of engineering for product development uh, at Lund Boats Lund Crestliner and Low part of the BBG family so this boat that we're on here today is the legendary Pro V uh, fish boat. Um, it is the the cat's meow on the boat itself from every aspect of fishability. Uh, layout, configuration, it's all all steered around fishing, being able to fish troll, jig, you know, spot lock, everything. Usually we have a trolling motor up on the front so you can actually, the, the versatility of this boat is huge. So the 400 is huge from the standpoint of what Mercury's done to bring in, bring into life this uh, next uh, engine platform in between the, the uh, V12 and then the, the lower end uh, 300 version V8. This uh, application on this boat, uh, versatility, huge torque, huge quietness. I mean, the standpoint of being able to run um, and idle and use uh, more or fuel more efficiently huge i mean a lot of people are going to enjoy it uh, the, the performance of it is um, amazing weight wise it's uh, not probably a little thereabouts as the same as the uh, verado uh, the l6 version but much better performance quietness i mean engineering wise that mercury has done on it has been huge um, yeah and then performance is just phenomenal first impressions it runs on a rail um, you want to go top speed, uh, 60, you know, just shy of 70 miles an hour, and you want to tone her back and then turn on a dime at 60. This boat hugs the water and it just screams uh, uh, fun. I mean, she's, she's an awesome boat. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the new brand new 281 Camus. Actually, this is a 28, which is a single version that we built in a twin as well, which is a 281. Uh, our home is based in Ashland City, Tennessee. It's the home of Earl Bentz. We build uh, three lines of hybrids, a 34 and a 40 center console, all the way up to a 40, which is a quad engine. I'm really impressed with the, uh, the new motor. I think the new technology is going to be super moving forward. Anytime you come to market with new fresh stuff, it's, it's exciting. Um, Fuel economy is a little bit better. The whole shot is uh, really good. Top end is, is relatively the same, maybe just a little tiny bit better. But overall, the motor's smooth, it handles good, runs good. I think it's a success. Smooth, smooth, and even smoother. My name is Corey Springle. I'm actually from you know northern United States. Um, we're here at Lake X with Mercury for the new V10 400 launch. Um, right now we're currently in a, a 622 Pro Fisherman series. It's a multi-species boat from Ranger. Um, it's a very deep boat. You know this is really a boat that really specializes in the Great Lakes or you know big water, big waves. Um, at the same time, you know, it has kind of the best of both worlds with a bass boat. You have, um, you know, a very large front deck here on the 622, um, you know, very similar to a, what a bass boat deck would be, but we have a cockpit back here that is deep enough to, you know, feel comfortable and safe in in rough water. 
Um, so to me, it's just one of those boats that really excel in the north where we have a lot of multi-species walleye, salmon, uh, and also bass up there and a lot of smallmouth. And so it's kind of a boat that can get you around in the big stuff and you know, it can even fish a small body water as well. So the 400, uh, this model here, um, the 400 L6 was, you know, was the go-to engine for this boat. Um, you know, it's a great engine. It ran, it ran awesome, ran fast. Um, but one thing I've really noticed with this boat is, and I didn't think it was possible to achieve, is with this motor on here, it is even more quiet uh, than the current L6 was and so this mo motor also has a lot more torque and so that torque is really key you know a lot of people often think well these 400s you don't need it um, well you know once you start talking about being in waves three four foot plus um, you need a lot of power and you need a lot of torque to climb those waves you want to be able to have that throttle response to climb them fast but then back off the throttle when you go back down them and to work those waves and so you know having that power and that throttle response is really important especially in big water and so you know not only for speed but you know, most importantly that big water and this engine has a lot of low end torque so there you have it three of some of the popular and in this case smaller american fishing boats but you know for us aussies they're boats of a lifetime they're all running the new v10 platform outboard motors there's drones going across the top here there are boats going crazy um universally the guys driving these boats and these are guys that work for the factories that make them they love the smoothness and the quietness of this 5.7 litre v10 platform and uh, and the launch last night chris drees talked about the fact that they took the end products that users wanted they wanted the reliability the quietness the smoothness and they worked backwards to make sure that all of those attributes were present in this line of outboards and uh, from what I can see underwater they are smooth they are quiet surprisingly the fuel economy is not a it's not a major step forward from the old L6 most of the guys say it's better but it's not 30 percent better it's 5 10 15 percent better um, but the platform itself ticks all the boxes if you have a look at the lineup of outboards it fits into that mercury DNA and you can see them in Australia from about April onwards They'll be introducing these motors and you can check out the information for them at your local Mercury dealer.